pretty sure that's my kid. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. I'm pretty sure there's two more kids in there that I think are very grateful that there's money being spent on them. I think that they're very grateful that there's money being spent on them as well. So why is she covering her boobs up when he get close to her, but she finally letting her ass cheeks and stuff hang out? Like, what the hell? Girl, bye. So while you're talking about taking care of her, right? <laughs> I'm taking care of all four. She's just making it seem Jeez. like I'm not. And it's unfortunate, and our personal affairs have to be online. You guys don't need to know the details of our personal affairs. I'm sorry, you're giving yourself too much importance. I'm sorry. We're choosing to let you in on these things, to have opinions and viewpoints and perspectives. Best thing you could do is learn Sorry. from us. Some people chose to do it for fame and clout, and some people do it because niggas is shitting on them and defaming their character. Some people do it to just do it for fun and fuck, fuck try to fuck people's lives up and do shit to people, and other people do it because they need to put a stop to the to the malice and the animosity that's going on that they do not deserve. And look, they said, and they said, what have you done for your new baby girl? I was savage fenty. I'm broke. Which is it? It's you wanna know which it is? It's none of your fucking business. <laughs> That's which one it is. Child. None of yours. Good dude. Okay, we're going to YouTube. All right. He said good dude. What the fuck? Love you guys. Love wins. The dude is I'll rock you by Neil. Ugh, this is his sexy? He said he's Fenty X Savage right now, like, with his blouse. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? He's also doing um, um, how Nature Boy used to set up the class when he used to give the lecture. Like if you look carefully, you see he's got the board, the board at the back of him, and there's candles. It's the set, same setup as what Nature Boy would have done. Oh, look like some Walmart sweatpants or something. The shirt looked wrinkled and nasty. It looked like he stank for real. Literally calling me for advice about you guys' relationship, and only telling me half of the story. That's crazy because she never told me that. So I would be she never told me that. She told me she was just talking to T, and I was like, well, that's still weird.
because of whatever issue that they had as far as the love that we and the culture share. They were insecure for whatever reason. So me and the culture were going out this really wild. And I was love bombed. From my perspective, I was love bombed for a while. And he was lying and hiding the fact that he wanted to be living in his life. So he brought up the proposal to me to be open to getting another woman or having another woman and that I could have a decision or make a decision about who I wanted to You're be. You're the one doing this. Yeah, yeah. And so I said, okay, well, if, we're, if we absolutely have to be committed to the type of woman that I am, being open and wanting to be at life to please my lover. You know everything that they know. You're the, you're the king. Whatever, whatever. Right. Whether he was a co leader or not, I've been this with all of my, mm-hmm. anybody I've ever been with. This is the type of person that That's I am. So, with that being the case, I'm like, if you absolutely need that to be happy, I'm considering his feelings, I'm considering what he wants. I'm like, okay, I can't choose another wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is cool. All of the women that he was choosing at 